So yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back on there really quick. Of course, um, Pokemon Andre's video, of course. Uh, another episode review. My very first recording I did, it went so well, so perfectly. I was at a good five minutes. It was so perfect, so beautiful with my recording. I was like, okay, we're gonna reload every page for some odd reason, so thank you for that. That was really helpful. So yeah, of course, we're starting the review. And again, it was so cool. It was going so perfectly. Just, uh, I just, uh, it's on my nerves. But yeah, of course, we got new info, new news, of course. Not really new news, but of course, review. Yes, it's up there, of course. Right? I'm not reviewing the next episode of the um, Horus and, of course, Go episode, because this seems like we're doing another episode. Again, I have no idea what to Oh, it seems like just a Go and Horus catch up episode. I have no idea, but of course, uh, as that was heard, of course, rising up for Battle Ryan and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, of course, let's get started with the review and everything, of course. So I can talk about the video, so I can talk about it more, because this episode definitely does save up with the last one, the Ashburn Ninja episode. Again, that was pretty much just pure fan service, nothing really kind of happened, but, uh, three more as the episode goes on. This episode goes on. I like the episode somewhere around me, up above. It did upload, like, almost a week later, just because I was busy uploading other stuff, though, so again, it's... Probably the same case for this video as well. Just gotta get um the stuff done and stuff like that, of course though. So yeah, of course it's gonna start though, of course. Um but yeah though. Um of course as far as the web search again for so long since I put Sword and Shield, so it's been a product couple like a couple months since I've the game. It's a little bit. Of course Ash and um the gang could actually carry and Pikachu of course, all make it. Of course Ryan's ready there as well, um the great Ash and everything, of course. Um being sort of nervous about the bout, ready to go and everything. You see looking on the corner just kinda you know, literally Ryan's face is just like what the heck? So yeah, of course you see them. Um, just kind of go on. Leon just kind of was just there stalking everybody, though. But of course, this little magical pose, of course, Ryan's, you know, just really works. He wants to, he, he needs to be at pretty much so he can, um, so he can, you know, move on to Leon pretty much, though. So, of course, the Go is pretty much a chiller in the episode. I saw the, um, leak little, um, stuff for Go. He literally just a chiller this whole episode. Of course, they introduced Ryan and Ash, of course. Um, Later Rumble and stuff like that. Pretty much like, you know, like, Dan who's going to win Dynamax. Of course, Ash has, like, you know, the Mega Bracelet of. Uh, and, um, you know, Gigantamax while, um, Ryan has pretty much Gigantamax on his side. Of course, Leon and everybody is super excited, ready for the battle. Oh, we'll see on uh, Edge there. Is it blue? Okay, no, the um, machine for it is blue. It looks really cool, though, of course. Of course, it goes warning on, like, what's going to be happening in the battle, like, what's going to happen. Again, Mega Evolution, Gigantamax round two, pretty much, and it just does it really well. Again, the Ash episodes are really always good. Because for Ash episodes, we know it's going to be a big battle, bonding with the training, getting Pokemon evolved, something crazy new. For him, while well, goes will research, we're gonna see what he's gonna do with his research. We're gonna see what he can do and stuff like that in his episodes, which is always pretty cool. Yeah, of course, we got another one here for, one for him next. Of course, Ash goes on Dragonite, Brian goes on on Flygon, so of course, we're gonna ready to battle. Ash using the method like he gets Iris against pretty much everything Ash has learned up to this point, because he's using the same method just gets Iris, attacking and of course, getting um, part of Dragonite at the same time, of course. So, yeah, he's doing that just to kind of get a little more advantage, while Flygon goes on full on Sandstorm. Um, but yeah. Um, of course, um, Ash can't really see Flygon like, that's a little advantage, I guess, seeing, you know, his little, not visor eyes, of course, and then seeing in the sandstorm, just getting advantage to power and everything. But, um, of course, Dragonite's fully covered and stuff like that, of course, powering up a little early, just kind of really wasn't, I guess, helping out because, you know, he's blind, he can see anything. But of course, Ash uses this method again. The Irish method, so he can, um, use Dragon Meteor, of course, so he can see and block out everything so he can see himself. Of course, um, I just picked up Flygon for a little bit though, of course. Um, Leon, uh, Ryan, of course, uh, then it's locked up. Um, turning its what? In those what? Was it Dragon Pulse or? Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, Hurricane. I think it was a Dragon Pulse? I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, of course, um, that's good. Try using it again so we can see. But of course, then Ryan calls back Flygon, so, you know, it won't get damaged or whatever though. So, of course, that switches out because our Gengar should use um, speedy power to his advantage. The battle continues, um, again, okay, no, Flygon gets down and get back up. Well, Gengar tries to, I was trying to use Gengar's speed to his advantage, but utterly kind of just fails though as well, just because, you know, it can't really hit anything. Flygon's up after Sandstorm. Gengar can't really kind of see though, it kind of gets pinned down to his speed up a little bit though, so, yeah, that kind of just happens. Um, so, of course, um, you know, face down on the ground, Ash doesn't really kind of know what to do next though, but of course, Gengar gets up to fight some of the day. Of course, while Ryan um, kind of just you know, makes Ash, you know, being guys, you know, super powerful and strong, stuff like that, of course, for him. But yeah, of course, um, the same time, slowly kind of starts, I think, going up a little bit, though, like, kind of just going up more. While Ash, you know, um, great, just fun one, no matter what, though. While Leon kind of watches, like, you know, saying, you know, Ryan's trying really hard for this battle, really want to battle. Leon, this is the next step, ticket to Leon. While Ash is just, you know, kind of focusing on, you know, 
I'm using a different method. He, he just butts out to use that Ganonax and make evolution in the episode, though. So he just kind of switched up his plan. He wants to use Mega Lucario, which I already did say here. He tries to use Mega Lucario, but he's like, yeah, I don't want to do that right now. So he just goes from one to Ganonax. We have animation from the Marnie episode, though, right there, showing up its um, beautiful, beautiful face, because they're also beautiful and awesome. I love her so much. Um, her and Claudia, so to my father. Probably my favorite Pokemon girls. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you know, like Serena and Dawn? I like them. I've seen them a lot of those. Yeah, of course, Ash, um, you just check it back to um, because again, out of nowhere, Ash just uses this, like, literally, I don't know where Ash will use a gigantic act, and it's really funny, because again, he wants to make a Lucario, though, but he realizes he wants to save that, he wants to save that for later, so of course he uses, um, Gigantamax again, going on, of course, I think it works to the advantage, because the Centrum's gone, Flygon can see, um, you know, Ash can see, of course, Flygon's advantage is kind of just gone, uh, um, man, of course, Ash is, like, both just one shot, though, so yeah, again, the goalie being the cheerleader in this episode, uh, Ryan calls back, um, like on to call Gudra again, it's still one of my favorite Pokemon. He uses Rain Dance, so I guess he can clear up um weekend down on um, you know Gengar and stuff like that, of course. This is Thunder, because again, um in Surf, I think, or Hydro Pump. Uh but yeah, because again, when it's raining, Thunder has a hundred percent chance to hit there, so of course. Using that to his advantage. Like the game's like to me, though Ryan's literally calling me for Gudra right now. Like literally my essence is at him, of course. Um or as Ash has gonna go to kind of just take on and stuff like that, of course. And of course, Ash overcomes it, of course, as a typical Ash way. And, um, you know, overpowers, you know, the gigantic, um, the gi just the mega gigantic Omega, um, Chad, of course, um, Gengar, um, you know, taking, um, Thunder, but it does go back down from Gigantamax, and it does get, they both kind of, oh, so draw, I know that. So yeah, Gudra and, of course, yeah, a couple minutes out, too, because it makes it Gengar, because he's using Gigantamax energy, and, of course, it's gonna get drained out faster, but, yeah, he thought that could just get, Obliterate him and Gudra both. And poor Gudra, I love Gudra so much. It just gets really disappointed. One shaft falls. One shaft, one shaft shot. One shaft shot. One shaft shaft. Dude. One shaft shot off screen though. So of course Ash calls out the last Pokemon, Lucario. Red Shaft's not using Pikachu in the episode, but it makes sense because the Lucario was pretty much already, we know, we've seen it already, you know, five months out of battle at the Mewtwo, and of course, you know, fan or Tom. Yeah, he was like, yeah, we get that budget fan increase. Yeah, of course. Ash goes to Lucario. I think was it Dugong? Dugun? Dudrid? I can't remember. Um, Ryan's, of course, is control Pokemon. Uh, of course, Ryan's ready to battle up, get it out of the way, like, just go full on again and back to Lucario. Stand down, go, you know, we don't know it's gonna be full make it a anyway, though. But yeah. Of course, Ash battles on using Aura Spear and stuff like that, of course. While Jack and Max. I can't remember, Ryan's Pokemon basically um, just, you know, towers upon him while the card just kind of drained out. You know, using a lot of steam and energy, of course. While, um, Ash, you know, um, actually this episode is really cool right here. So Ash, like, literally bonds with Cario just trying to find out a good point of attack. Uh, like, you know, how him and Greninja connected. So it's pretty much literally, because he mentioned that him and Greninja connected, like, Lucario and him, though. So, of course, Ash uses, um, Lucario. He being Lucario, that was pretty much bonds with them, connects with them, using the, you know, kind of like how pretty much or spear. Like he did in the last episode, of course, with the Mega, um, you know, big ore sphere, of course, learning from that, using all of the, um, everything from every battle, every moment, pretty much building up to this, pretty much Lucario's time to shine. And he literally just, you know, full on, even Greninja, like, kind of gives him support too, like, we, they can fill up on and stuff like that. Pretty much, even Leon's kind of senses that as well, like, this is completely different. It's like nothing Ash would ever do, pretty much, though. And of course, use the big, take into Omega Chad, which is the big horse feel like he did last episode. So not even Mega Evolution. He literally decides, like, yeah, we're not gonna make an evolution. We're just gonna, he was gonna, it kind of did in the last episode. So they could have put that in here. That episode was animated still so well, like, in each episode. Um, but yeah, again, it'll be a real move from where I'll be. I have a bow. Somewhere, of course, though. But yeah, then, of course, Ash just deals it out, destroys one shot on. Ryan's Pokemon. Of course, Ash finally wins. So that is interesting because 8 Dove, of course, and then go bring the cheerleader this episode. Because, and, um, and of course, Ryan gets a little bit more respect for Ash. So, with that, of course, let's tell him that he, um, to think of Ryan, um, that he, um, my brain's like all off because I just woke up though <laughs> for the quite a second part. Um, then, of course, um, Basically, Ryan just tells him don't give up and everything. Of course, though, so yeah. Of course, we, get, we actually get the um, Master Class 8 pretty much, though. And we record Ryan reflecting Ash with the whole, you know, Nugget Man. But yeah, of course, Ash can be confirmed already at this point. We already know the Master Class 8. It's pretty much every champion from every region. Even on Law's back, it was already confirmed anyway at this point. Like, they thought I heard something. But yeah, at this point, we already know it's confirmed. We already knew Alon was coming back anyway, just because, um, just because all the leaks and stuff like that, of course, and Mason's because we just got him in. This episode, not this episode, he got him literally in the last episode as a cameo pretty much appearance, and that was 
I feel like enough to push him to be like, okay, yeah, he's confirmed already. Again, I think we already knew it would be and stuff like that, of course, so. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. All, what they all have in common, they're pretty much champions of other regions. Of course, Ash being Alola, uh, Iris, of course, you know, like she said, she was going to catch up to Ash uh, sooner or later, and she really did prove her worth, because she must have been finding really hard to get up to Ash. I can't really, I really want to see a rematch between them, though, like seeing how strong they got together, pretty much. Um, yeah, all these guys have in common to all the re um, champions of um, the region, two region champions, pretty much. Yeah, Lance, Steven Stone, um, Leon, of course, no, that's actually good about the Ryzen thing, like, what, are, what other pretty much future opponents he has. We've already seen Cynthia already, that was already teased, like, so long ago. Um, of course, you see Leon already, already, against pretty much every champion leader from every region, pretty much. I like that, though, so, yeah. Again, the match at the cuts A has been fully confirmed at this point, though. But yeah, um, not a bad episode and stuff like that, of course, again. Um, beautiful animation like the last episode, again, pretty much, like, it's good. Um, the last episode was kind of good up to this moment, even Greninja being here. It'd be cool, like, a Greninja, which is what's in the last episode, where he's just kind of like, okay, yeah, he's had to hear it, pretty much, though. But, um, yeah, not a bad episode. It was actually, um, really well animated. I think it was really good. Again, building up the story from the last episode to this one was really well done. Um, we got some of the video cut out. That usually just happens with episode reviews, uh, now, but, um, I don't mind. It's just two parts I got to edit together to that one. But, yeah, not a bad episode. I think it's really good. Um, yeah, the cutout, and again, you can definitely see the time, though, I did just play a couple those, so, yeah, just recording this little piece right here. But yeah, the episode wasn't bad, goofy animated, big Oris here coming back, the last episode basically building up that, that moment. Every, um, every, kind of every challenge actually built up to this point is this episode as well, because, you know, we had the big Oris here from the last episode, with the Iris, uh, and then we got the Karina episode with, um, dancing, um, the dragon did, of course, doing the attack, interesting, strong as a result, the dragon meteor, the sandstorm, uh, again, the like, Gengar from the, um, Alistair slash, you know, of course, the lean episode, kind of building that back up. And again, Ash literally chooses not to make up all. He can go with Gigantamax. Again, he literally just decides Gigantamax at the last second. He does not make up all for Lucario, because he already trusts that he can basically do it. Like, Ash just trusts Lucario at this point. We don't really need Mega Evolution. We can just beat this guy on our This guy on our own. Like, literally, uh, a bonded, like, non Mega Lucario one shot at Ryan's fucking window. But yeah, I think that episode's really good. But yeah, like I said, though, the Magic Cuts 8 all big from and everything, of course, though. Um, that was, it was beautiful, nice, animated, all of the above. Every thought was good. Everything was great. For some odd reason, my recording kept cra crash for some odd reason. I thought it was fine, but it just kind of happened. But yeah, I was going to go ahead and end the video there for sure, though. So yeah, a lot of edits here and there, but I have no idea what happened, though. So yeah, see you guys later, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great luck. I'll you know. Make sure stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless all of you. Of course, I'll put in my mask. I'm totally paper. We really need to. Get back to the day we can. Um, I know the mandate's over. I know we still have to wear a mask, but we don't have to wear a mask. But still, just in case. Drink some lemonade, copium, grass, touch grass every single day. Play Fortnite. I'll, I'll, I'll play Pokemon. I'm going to do that 24-7. 50 more hours of Sword and Shield. I'm ready. I'm ready. So I got to think about all these videos, of course, like, and it, again, episode was good, beautiful, thoughts, stuff like that. That's across eight, again, pretty much every champion, again, one, not really a champion, but he didn't win the color so, so, pretty much every important main character. Yeah, Steven Stone, that guy, that was somewhere. I mean, they already teased him anyway, though, him alone, like, they already teased him, Cynthia, they teased everybody, pretty much. Again, like I said. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad. This is what I'm satisfied with. This is going to be an epic battle. Epic stuff. We already know Ash is going to be the climax. Paul. We have a horse and dog episode. Again, typical stuff. Though. See you guys later though. Again, nope.